okay so first like uh, what all topics we are going to cover in this particular training session so let me take you through all this topic and give you high level overview of each topic so first will be like uh, as we mentioned there will be guest lecture for agile implementation for mules of project we plan for two day webinar but uh, for second day uh, webinar uh, we we are uh, still modifying some content so that's why uh, I moved that uh, session from today to 8th of January. So one first day we already delivered and I think we had almost 80 participants. So everyone enjoyed that session a lot. So today like uh, due to some reason we, we cancelled second session but that will come on 8th of January. After that there will be today we are going to cover this particular part. So first uh, we will go through introduction of MuleSoft. So like before going to any technology, first you need to understand what is the importance of that technology. Why, why company or why like organization are adopting that te technology and what is future of that technology. So all those, all those discussion we will do today. Okay. And at the end of session, we will create very simple REST API using MuleSoft. Here at this point, like you may feel like we haven't uh, gone through any component connector we haven't detail but uh, why we are going through this so my approach um, like whenever i am going for any teaching like uh, in mulesoft like real time project or training i prefer this real time approach like here what i want uh, why, why i will show this particular mule api before going to this theoretical part and other things then you will get idea like what is mulesoft and how it works okay then it will be easy for you to correlate things when we will discuss further things like when i will go through uh, like uh, connector component once you will see this particular api then you will able to correlate thing okay at this place i was using this component this is the importance of this component so that's why after this small introduction we will go to this particular small demo using mule api so we will create very small rest api for hello world then we will understand this API led architecture. Okay. So here in this API led architecture in MuleSoft, like we have one ar architecture pattern we follow similar to this microservice architecture. If you are from java.net background, we are following their microservice architecture. But here in MuleSoft, we follow this API led architecture. Like uh, the concept core concept and uh, purpose is same only like uh, name is different okay so we will discuss in detail then we will discuss about any point platform so this platform any point platform is widely used when you are working on this cloud of deployment model or rtf deployment model for on prems you will use for certain extent only but for cloud hub and other deployment model okay so maybe you are not familiar with deployment model if you are completely new so in MuleSoft, like every programming language has their own server where we can run their application. Whatever API you are developing in MuleSoft, you need some platform or server where you can run that application. So that is in MuleSoft, that is Mule runtime. Okay. And you need some uh, like uh, application to manage your application. Whatever uh, Mule API you develop, to manage Mule API, you need one place from where you can manage your application. So this any point platform is combination of both. Here, you can deploy your Mule application and you can manage your Mule application. Everything you can do on any point platform. So that's why this, this particular thing is very much important. For development purpose, we rarely use this any point platform. But for deployment purpose and for management purpose, we use this any point platform then designing of api so here we will discuss about raml and then like we i will i will take you in depth of raml like uh, using all the reusable component and best practice like how to create fragment how to create traits how to create data type how to create example what all best practice you should follow in raml then we will we'll go through like uh, what i can say very beginning to advanced level in raml okay then 
we will develop api so here like uh, actual after learning all this thing we will develop api in multiple way okay then deploying and managing api so once you will complete your develop your api so we will see how we can deploy our mule application on mule on prims deployment model and cloud up so we will see two one one we will see on on prims deployment another one is cloud up we will not able to see on rtf since uh, rtf don't give us any trial account so that we will not able to use then here we will understand what mule event so whenever our mule process starts then it create one mule event so we will understand the structure of mule event and how we can access component of mule events okay in next next particular topic we will structuring mule application so here like uh, we will understand about this uh, property file and all error handling file how we can handle global error handling how we can create property file how we can create secret property file how we can use secret property value so all those things we will understand here then here we will understand so generally in mulesoft we develop rest api okay but in mulesoft we can develop soap service also and we can consume soap service also that that part we will see here and what is rest rest api and soap api that we are going to discuss very soon then here we will uh, understand about this event flow so in mulesoft we have like uh, multiple events flow that that we will discuss in detail then next this is very important part that is error handling okay so whenever you got like uh, you you are going to develop any api so first part is your happy path your success scenario and second important part is your error handling and third one is logging so this three is very uh, important part whenever you go for development of any api you need to give equal concentration like equal uh, what i can say means for all this ah uh, sorry can you go on mute so equally you need to take in consideration for this error handling also then uh, happy path also and then logging part also okay if you will complete if if anyone can't see my slide then you need to rejoin i hope other can see so if one person is unable to see then there must be problem with your internet please rejoin this session so in error handling as i mentioned we will discuss uh, in detail of error handling like what is on error continue what is on error propagate and we will discuss multiple scenario what you will face in interview okay then data weave this one is also very important part so in mulesoft many people are asking like the mulesoft is uh, do we need coding in mulesoft do we need co coding knowledge or not so as i i mention multiple time so mulesoft is 90% tool based okay 90% time you will do, uh, deal with tool you will drag and drop component you will configure that component that's it but 10% cases you need to write data view code you sometime in worst case you need to write java code also that java code will not be very advanced that will be basic only but in worst case you need to write so 10% chance will be there means uh, 10% places you need to deal with code also but that code will not be complex so data view it's very simple programming language and uh, means there are only few things which we use 90% of time okay like map function then mapping then filter function concatenation substring substring after before so this this functions are there means or like i i may say like 10% functions are there which we use 90% of time so if you will learn that 10% of function and that is very easy that is also syntax based you just need to understand their syntax okay so 10% time definitely you need to deal with code but that will not be difficult one 
then we will uh, learn here we will actually understand salesforce admin also so why i included salesforce admin in this mulesoft training part since uh, as a mulesoft developer in 90% or 95% project there will be salesforce okay if you will not have very basic understanding of salesforce every time you will be dependent on salesforce team even like you are doing some testing and you want to check uh, data is going to there or not means in salesforce system after your implementation data is going there or not whatever salesforce object is there you want to insert data there and you want to validate data is there or not so every time you will be dependent on salesforce admin team so for two minute task they will take half day maybe they they will they will be involved in multiple activity they have to do their own development many things will be there so they may take for two minute task they may take half day and one day and at that time you will not able to proceed further so in that case if you are going to learn mulesoft then definitely you should have basic knowledge of salesforce so that's why i included salesforce admin part here okay so we will learn basic things here like how to create object how you can check on like how you can check objects and all so basic thing will be there as a mulesoft developer what all things you should know that you will learn here now on connector side so connector side we have 200 plus connector but uh, definitely i will not able to take all connector but what all connector we use very frequently i will cover all those connector like file connector http connector database salesforce connector this one is scheduler this is not connector this is scheduler then object store connector and jms messaging so i will include vmq also this this also we use very frequently okay so this many connector i will cover so a part of this like uh, we as i mentioned there are 200 plus connector in mulesoft so based on your project definitely you will like get uh, to like get chance to work on one or two new connectors like jira connector or okay let me include jira connector also many many other connector will come in your project okay so what you will do in that case so mulesoft will mulesoft provided very good documentation for all those connector what all property are there what is the meaning of that property you can follow once you will get good understanding of all these connector then learning new connector will not be very difficult for you okay in my day-to-day uh, -day life also i am getting new connectors sometime i am getting new connectors but i am not feeling like okay this is new connector i will not able to do anything okay everything the way of working will be same only there will be some different property so i just go through muse of documentation i understand the meaning of that property and i implement that and that connector start working so you will also get that kind of uh, understanding once you will complete all this connector then here we will discuss about batch processing for parallel for each for each and then filter and aggregation function so like if we will have huge amount of record if we will have repeating element then how we will deal with deal with those record so that we will understand here okay and at the end of this training we will go through this uh, we will go through one mini project so i will i will give you one uh, real time huge case and you need to work on that okay and you need to submit that uh, assignment and at the end we will have two mock interview also so i hope many people are here they are uh, mostly focus on this uh, interview part okay so, means uh, they they want to clear their interview they are looking for job in mulesoft so for that definitely i will help you in two mock interview so you will get idea like in which direction you need to prepare yourself out of this mock interview i have one uh, video series there you will get uh, lots of interview question what company are asking very frequently okay fine then so uh, i'm done with this uh, like uh, what all things we are going to cover if anyone has any doubt so i'm giving two minute uh, time to ask if you have any query then you can ask and then we will start our 
today's session that will be introduction to MuleSort. Okay, it seems everyone clear with this, whatever we discussed till this point, every, everyone is clear. Yes. So, yeah. So, Let's go ahead, Ravi. Yeah, okay, fine. So what I'm doing, I'm baking this particular 